One of the assumptions that we sometimes make when we're navigating through these ahadith and these narrations, especially as they pertain to drama, is that we're going to be the center of the drama. But all of us know that at times we are called to judge in a dispute. We're caused to pass judgment on something that's unfolding before our eyes, sometimes where we have no business doing so, but we're often caused to judge. And the greatest verse of justice, or one of the greatest verses of justice in the Quran, is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala ala alla ta'adilu, that you don't let your hatred for a people cause you to swear from justice, that you always stay upon justice. And that is a quality and trait that you will rarely find, even amongst righteous people, that you naturally have a bias towards those that you love. You naturally have a bias towards your friends. Your friends are always misunderstood, even when you're when they're wrong. Your enemies are always devious, even when they're right. Right. So you're always, you know, torn. The Prophet ﷺ talked about the formal position, though, of being asked to judge in an affair, okay, which comes with authority. And obviously there's the formal position of the Qadi, the judge in, in a state, and then there is the, uh, the, the arbitration or some sort of dispute that requires you to step in or where you're asked to step in. The Prophet ﷺ said that whoever forces themselves into a position of judgment, meaning a position of authority, will be entrusted to it, meaning they won't have any blessing from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. But when a person is asked to judge and they judge righteously, the Prophet ﷺ said no person is asked to judge and they're reluctant to do so because they fear doing wrong by someone except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends an angel and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides them aright, guides them to the truth. And there's a beautiful incident that took place with Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, who of course is known for his justice. He's known for the way he held the standard of justice to everyone, but at the same time always showed great mercy and just cultivated such a beautiful society Society in his time radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And that justice was shown even when it was Muslims and non-Muslims under Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. So Sa'id ibn Wasayyib radiallahu anhu, he narrates, he said one time a Muslim and a Jew had a dispute under the authority of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. And Umar ibn Khattab judged in favor of the Jew over the Muslim. So the Jewish man, he said, you have judged correctly. So Umar radiallahu anhu, he had his, he had his durra, his, uh, his stick and he poked him and he said, Wama yudrik. He said, wait, how do you know that I judged correctly? What are you talking about? And he said that no person judges in accordance with the truth, except that Allah sends two angels, one on his right and one on his left to support him in that. Once he leaves the truth, the angels leave him. And that's something that Umar radiallahu anhu confirmed and obviously that's confirmed through the words of our own messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when you are called to a dispute to judge between two people, you could either play the role of the shaitan, you could play the role of the devil and perpetuate things and make them worse and be unfair, or you can play the role of the truth and make sure that you establish justice to the best of your ability and Allah would send a special angel to assist you in doing so.